Hello. In this lecture, we are going to mention how to apply face recognition on a large scale dataset with DeepFace framework. DeepFace offers an out of the box find function for this action. I'm going to look for this target image in my database folder. There are more than 20 images in my database. Also, an identity might include more than one pictures that's why find function might return more than one candidate identities firstly i'm going to import the deep face framework from deep face import deep face secondly i'm going to call deep face dot find function find function expects the target image as first argument this is target.jpg in my case and the function also expects the database path as second argument we can declare these arguments with its names image path as target.jpg and database path is this directory find function returns a pandas data frame if it pass a single image to the image path that's why I'm going to assign the response of this function in the data frame object. Let's import pandas data frame also. Calling find function finds the vector representations of the images in my database and stores it in the pickle file. Then I'm going to call the find function again. It will use this pickle file and it doesn't spend time for finding representations for the database images let's try this and call this line again the function is completed in three seconds let's check the type of the response of find function it's a pandas data frame that's why I called the data frame dot head these are the most significant candidates of target.jpg remember the target.jpg and this is the most significant one let's find it in this folder it says this is the most significant one i can take the most significant one just like that calling iloc function and pass the zero argument this returns the first line I just need the identity column that's why dot identity find function might return nothing that's why I should check the data frames size is more than zero that's the matched one actually print the matched one I can also speed the find function up because when you call find function it builds in this case VGG face module in the background if you build VGG face module in this session and pass that build module to the find function it will speed up let's import from deep face dot base models import the VGG face model in this case and build the model here model is going to be VGG VGG face dot load model calling function in this way is completed in three seconds alternatively I'm going to call find function just like that model name is going to be VGG face model is going to be the model I built here and distance metric is going to be cosine similarity let's call find function again and in this case it's completed in less than a second less than one second it's a huge improvement because let's find the 
how much times faster is this approach is it's almost four times faster so in this lecture we have mentioned how to apply face recognition on a large scale data set in our experiments there were 23 images in our database and finding the similar one completed in less than a second thank you all for watching and thank you for your attention and see you next time